Specific's aim is to transform world-class research and innovative technology into a new £1 billion industry. And the state-of-the-art pilot production facility, opened by Wales's First Minister, Carwyn Jones, and Secretary of State for Business, Innovation and Skills, Vince Cable, is vital for the rapid commercialisation of functionally coated products that generate, store and release renewable energy. You can see the equipment. I've actually met some of the individuals behind it who are really passionate about what they're doing because they really think they've got a big idea here that will, could transform the manufacturing industry and have major environmental benefits. The pilot sheet line means the partners can develop product prototypes at scale. The unique features of the line are that it is multi-material, the main two substrates being either metal or glass, and that it's a printing and coating line. So we can take lots of different materials and we can print lots of different layers to achieve whatever the device architecture is. And that's almost the first big step towards the building, of, uh, the building as a power station. Developing the next generation of building materials requires collaboration between partners from academia and industry. The premium pre-painted products manufactured by Tata Steel in Europe are industry leading due to their high performance and high aesthetics. It's natural given that building is consumed between 40 to 50 percent of the energy and that these need to become much more sustainable. But we should look to exploit this opportunity space by incorporating smart functionally coated products into the fabric of these buildings. Science and engineering are fundamental in Swansea University since we were established 90 years ago. In the past the research has been done in the university and the product development and R&D has been done entirely separately in companies. By bringing that together, we can actually get a burst forward. We can accelerate uh, this translation from the laboratories in the universities through to products on the shelves. Funding for the Innovation and Knowledge Centre from the UK's Engineering and Physical Sciences Research Council and the Technology Strategy Board provides crucial support. The Innovation and Knowledge Centres, the IKCs, essentially could only come about because of the excellence of the long-term basic research that we've been funding. But through that collab particular collaboration with the Technology Strategy Board and the IKC methodology, we can in fact ensure that that great research is made more visible to the, uh, the manufacturers, the industries who are potential users of it, and the markets. People do talk about the, the, the valley of death, and it's a well-known phenomenon in the UK that we've got some great science that goes on, some great universities. How do we commercialise those ideas? How do we create economic wealth out of them? The role of a technology strategy board is to try and provide the mechanisms and the connections that allow people to get across that valley. The strategic nature of Specific has attracted further funding from the Welsh Government. We want Wales to be seen as a place of innovation. We want to create jobs. The way to do that is to have universities, businesses and government all working together to make sure that jobs are created. So this is government money that's being invested to create a facility that will create jobs in the future. And that's where I see our intervention as being crucial in terms of being able to do that. The shared vision is ambitious, but through open innovation, collaboration and co-location, the partners are confident that the targets are realistic and achievable. I will follow with very close interest the success of this because I think it, it meets a lot of the fundamental objectives that we're trying to achieve as a country and I really do wish you well. So thank you very much.